One of the less commonly used tea touches, but a very useful one, is the inchworm. And it was originally developed to be used along the top of horse's neck, so along the crest, but it can be very beneficial along the back of a dog. So I put both my hands lightly on the dog, and I think you're going to lie down, which is fine. That's a good boy. And I'm going to move my hands towards each other by moving a little tissue, pause, and then slowly bring them back to where I started, and then go a little bit further, pause, and come back to the center. You can move along the back and do the same thing. It's a very small movement, but it can be really powerful for dogs that are tight in the back, through the pelvis. Good boy. So you watch your dog and you let them tell you what's okay or not. do it actually from the side as well and so a hand on either side of the ribs and bring my hands towards each other in a little lift pause and come back to where I started I might go a little further that's a good boy so it's important to have pauses in it and to go a little bit slowly and to watch your dog